So recently there has been some speculation about Valve and what they are working on. So currently there is a rumor going around that Valve is currently working on a small series of Deadlock cinematics with Source 2 Filmmaker taking the projects more seriously a lot sooner than expected. Which is sounds amazing. If you guys don't know, Source Tomb Filmmaker is a, you know, it's a filmmaker from Valve that is really, really good. Valve mainly used this in, of course, Team Fortress 2. If you guys don't know, Team Fortress 2 has a ton of cinematics for each character in the game. So you got like Meet the Spy, Meet the Heavy, Meet the Sniper. All of those cinematics are from Source filmmaker and what this did for team fortress 2 was really make the community come together and that's why that community is very strong still and it's the game is still going is mainly because the cinematics for that game are truly amazing and that game is literally a multiplayer game there's no real single player campaign in that game so the fact that they made these cinematics for team fortress 2 is amazing and it helped just grow the community it helped grow the game as a whole and people thought it was really cool to see those cinematics and have more into the characters right and that's what looks like they're going to be doing for deadlock which is awesome because you're going to be getting like a hay cinematic you know a mirage cinematic you're going to get cinematics for all these characters to see their background stories and see what they went through and their storylines especially through a really really high-end quality cinematic trailer like they did with team Fortress 2's characters i think it's going to be very very cool so what do you guys think do you guys think this direction of them going towards having kind of a film series like this that they did with team fortress 2 do you guys think it's gonna be a good idea or do you guys think it's gonna be a bad idea personally like i said i think it's gonna be an amazing idea i think it's gonna be really cool for the game and the growth of the game now will they do more than this possibly a movie in the future of deadlock now that would blow my mind if they did that they didn't even do that with team fortress 2 there were rumors like years ago of a team fortress movie but if they actually did that with this game or any other game for that matter going to movie theaters that would be insane i always felt that team fortress 2 at least had a vibe of it could be in the movie it could be like a movie literally and that's how good the meet the series was on youtube for team fortress it was so good to that point where i literally felt like it was a movie if you stitch them all together it feels like a movie that you can consistently watch now with deadlock these characters really do have their own personalities you got Hayes, that's very different from the team she's like a stealth assassin kind of character kind of like spy in team fortress 2 you got abrams abrams got this magic book and walking around with his little shotgun pistol whatever you want to call him. he's kind of like a demon-esque you know you got infernus he's like a mobster but he's like on fire from that time period you got all these cool characters in mirage you got every single character from different eras and different countries i guess you would say just different vibes to them overall which is very cool you got yamato japanese you know it, it, there's so many things that you could do with this kind of level of releasing like a series for them and especially in cinematics now will the new updates get cinematics i do not know that would be cool as well so every single update will get like a full cinematic trailer for it and a full like cinematic movie of it on youtube that'd be really cool as well like have the characters run through battle on the new maps or even new game modes you could even do this with new items you can make some like little short films with the new items and the characters using them you go on any of these heroes you click on the hero and he's going to have some background so if you click on background as you can see over here to the right he's gonna have a fate's tale that's gonna be in fur and furnace of course right you can go over to paradox background and here's the background for paradox you can read these and they're really cool like most teenagers and furnace was wild rebelous and petuous unlike most teenagers and furnace was a creature from another plane and had a supernatural mastery over fire needless to stay his youth was filled with no small amount of arson murder and evidence disposal but that was then now an adult in furnace has mellowed out considerably he's happy working at a bar with good live music so this for example in furnace would be more of a you know a setting like he's in a bar he's going back into his teenage years he's doing some crazy stuff and he's just you know he's working at a bar with good live music so it could be like a bar scene and they're in there they're fighting in furnace and furnace has some fire power to him talking to interesting people that being said when someone at the bar gets belligerent or violent he's not afraid to dust off the skills he once honed last sentence right there so basically when someone comes in a bar he can go fight them and you know kill them destroy them right you got another person you got ivies ivies is huge there's a bunch of stories that they added to these characters that a lot of people may not know even lash like lash though is like a more of a joke because it literally just says jacob lash is an asshole that's literally all it says and that's like a running joke with lash he has no background story 
So that's pretty funny to see like kind of what his background would be. So he would just be an asshole, right? You know, some of them have longer than others. Like seven is super long. Shiv, a loyal member of the Baxter Society and the International Order of Monster Hunters. Shiv travels across North America looking to put down creatures that prey on a living. While his less polished nature and criminal past make some of the more traditional members of the society worry, deny his effectiveness. All these characters, like I said, got really cool backgrounds, really cool stories to them other than like Lash, you know, and I think it's gonna be very, very interesting seeing all these characters flushed out in game and all these characters flushed out in a cinematic trailers and cinematic movies, which is gonna be really hyped. I just hope they do make cinematic movies for the new updates of the game, for the new map. They have to like, they change the whole map. Like in my other video, I talked about maybe having like Christmas events and stuff for the game where the map may be can turn into like a Halloween map and then the map can turn into a Christmassy snowy map. That'd be really cool. And that'd be really cool to see cinematic trailers like they did with Team Fortress when they had updates. Also, I really want to see community made updates. So for example, Team Fortress 2 is really heavy into that. And it's basically why the game is still so alive today. So I hope they do incorporate a lot of community made maps into the game that people can play on on different modes maybe rather than just the main mode have a separate mode for it and also i hope that they'll pick some items and other things to add into the game from the community as well that'd be really cool to see so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video you can leave a like on this video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so you get posted when i post a brand new video here on youtube and yeah guys have a great day and night and peace